Hey guys, Crypto Dad here, and today I'm going to show you how to download, verify, install, and set up the Ethereum wallet, or uh, the, the, what they call the Mist wallet as well. And then we're going to buy some Ether tokens and put them into our wallet. So let's dive in. Now I've done another video similar to this, and it's got quite a few views. I want to tighten it up. Uh, I've got a little more experience now from the first video that I created. I want to make everything a little shorter and to the point, so let's get going. Whoops, not ready to say goodbye to you yet. Okay, so we're going to start in our browser. I want to show you ahead of time that in our options in our Firefox browser, I have always asked where to set files. You can see down here. Uh, the default is downloads. I want to make sure that it asks me so we can create folders on the fly and keep our software nice and organized. So uh, I'm going to be using some software called MD5 SHA SUM Checker. It's a utility and we're going to use it to verify our download. Verification is a very important step when you're downloading software especially when you're dealing with cryptocurrency. You want to make sure that you get uh, a good copy and that you've verified everything. So let's head over to the Ethereum project. Ethereum is a, a great new cryptocurrency and more. Uh, it's based on blockchain technology, has its own blockchain. You can uh, purchase Ether, save it, keep it. Uh, you can also create smart contracts, play with software, uh, do some experimentation, build some uh, test applications, really a cool website concept and overall neat thing. All right, so I'm going to go over here to see all versions. Uh, they give you some warnings. You want to be careful. Uh, you want to make sure you've backed everything up and because if you break your wallet, you'll lose the Ether tokens that you buy if you after you buy some. And uh, it's not like losing your password to Amazon or losing your ATM card. You know, you can call the bank, you can call Amazon, you can verify your identity uh, with, you know, your birth certificate or your credit card, uh, you know, or your social number or whatever, and get access back to your stuff. Okay, but it doesn't work like that with cryptocurrency wallets. You break it, it's gone. Okay, so you want to be very careful. Um, when you're using this kind of stuff. So yes, I'm going to agree. Okay, it takes us over to the uh, GitHub site for Ethereum. Now here's the checksum that we're interested in uh, for the Ethernum wallet. This is a cryptographic hash that we're going to use to verify our download. So we go down here to the Ethernum wallet installer. Click. Uh, it's going to pop up this dialog box. We'll hit save. And I like to save things in a special folder I have on my data drive called software. You probably have a nice place on your computer where you like to save stuff. Uh, we're going to click new folder and we'll create a new one called Ethereum. Enter. Open this guy up, double click and click save. Okay. It doesn't take it very long to download. If you click this down arrow over here, and this little folder on the side, it's going to open up the location where we just saved our installer. Now we need to verify. So I'm going to launch my MD5 checker. Uh, there's a description in the in the uh, there's a link in the description so you can download this software. It's freeware. So we're going to click browse and we're going to go to uh, the data drive is where I have mine. I've got my nice little software folder over here. And then uh, we navigate over to the Ethereum folder that we just created. Click on the installer and choose open. Okay, and you'll notice it does some little churning there and it generates these hashes. Uh, this is the SHA-256 hash that the installer file generated. We want to compare that to the cryptographic hash that they provided on the website to make sure they match. Okay, so we could eyeball it. So there it is right there. And then uh, we'll bring this up and we could just eyeball it 3 E A A 3 E A A but we ne don't need to go through all that there the software provides you uh, this little technique we will select copy and then paste it in here and click verify and as we see the SHA-256 hash matched 
this is a very important step. It means that we've downloaded a good copy of this installer, hasn't been corrupted in transport or altered by a third party. Uh, you should check out some of my other videos on full verification. Uh, there are even more ways to verify software. They don't, uh, the Ethereum people don't provide uh, cryptographic signing keys to verify their software, but uh, the SHA SUM is a pretty good verification. All right, enough about all that. Let's get going. We'll install. And we'll just say yes here and uh, let it go through the defaults. and close and there we go uh, I'm gonna right click and choose pin to taskbar I like to keep things in my taskbar we can launch from the taskbar now uh, the software is going to launch for the first time it's going to sync up to the Ethereum blockchain it might take a little while but uh, there are some ways that we can go ahead and fund this thing before it's completely synced up. All right, we want to use the main network. The test network is, if you're curious, is for uh, playing around with their software development tools and it generates test ether for you to play around with, but it can't be used to buy stuff, real stuff. It's just test ether. We want to use the main network because we're actually going to buy some ether, real life ether, and put it into our wallet. This is the restore. Uh, if you had a previous wallet, you could drop it on here and it would restore the wallet in this uh, interface. Now I'm going to create a password for this. Now this password is very important. We want to make sure that it's um, complicated enough so that people won't guess it because it is protecting your money. Um, all right, and then they give you a little warning here about how to back up your wallet. It's a good idea to back up your uh, what they call the key store folder uh, and put it on a flash drive or a secondary hard drive so that uh, if disaster strikes your computer and your hard drive fails or you know a, a myriad of other things that could happen or you're like me, you foolishly uninstall it. Uh, without uh, making sure it's backed up, you could lose Ether. Uh, we don't want to do that. So I'm going to walk you through that as well. Okay, so the main account now has uh, been created. And uh, let's see here. Yeah, let's launch the application. Let's see, you kind of have to toy around with this. Uh, let's see if I do it this way. There it goes. Okay, so uh, it's still syncing up. It's going to take a while to sync up. I believe I'm going to try to do this. I, I failed in some previous attempts on this video to do this while it's syncing, but I'd like to walk you through the entire process. And uh, I, I failed at one point too because I used an email that already had a Coinbase account. I think that kind of threw things off as well. So what I did was I created a test email that I have never associated with uh, a Coinbase account. And so I'll be just like you, we'll be in the same boat. I'm assuming that you've never done this before and that you're going to uh, use just one of your uh, credit cards or debit cards to purchase some Ether. So I wanna walk you through all that. So let's dive in, hopefully this will work this time, right? to start from scratch okay so when we click on this main account over here you can see there's uh, all these ways to fund it you know we could transfer ether that we already have from a different wallet uh, we can fund it with Bitcoin if we have Bitcoin in uh, you know a, an account or a wallet and then here's the one that I'd like to show you the fund with a credit card uh, this only works in the US uh, before I dive into that I'm quickly going to show you here in this file backup accounts uh, the key store folder okay and as you can see the key store folder is in a hidden folder called app data uh, it's hidden by default in the Windows system you can uh, you know in your folder settings choose sh show hidden files to see it 
but this uh, is an easy way to get to it. The key store folder has your uh, address in there and your private keys. So uh, you could put in a flash drive and then just uh, click and drag this guy over to your, uh, I'm not going to, I'm going to right click and drag so that I copy. So you got a copy of it here. You want to drop this on a flash drive in case your computer crashes. You can always use it to restore your wallet, just like at the beginning where it showed you that drop wallet here. This is what you would drop on there, this key store folder. Okay, so let's try this out. We're going to fund with a credit card. All right, we're going to choose 50. We don't have to do 50. We could do 25 or 5, uh, but we I'm going to do 50 today, the default. It's a nice little healthy amount. All right, so I have created a test email account, and let me just double check it here. Uh, Crypto Dad Test at Gmail. Okay, so let's do that. At gmail.com. Now, of course, you'll use your own email address in here. This is a first time user uh, interface. It creates a Coinbase account for you on the fly, which is kind of cool. Okay, so I've never used this email before, so it's walking me through this process, which, <laughs> all right, this is great. So I'm gonna put in my real name. You wanna put in your real name because this is, uh, you're actually gonna use your, uh, if you're using a US uh, debit card or credit card, it's going to verify this whole thing. So if you put in a fake name, uh, you know, this for transaction is not going to go through. So I'm going to agree to these. We're going to hit continue. Okay, now they just sent a code. Let's see where it went. CryptoDadTest at gmail.com. Where are you, code? There it is. <laughs> Okay, so it just welcomed me to Coinbase, which is fine. Uh, let's verify. There's our code right there. All right, we'll go back over here. We'll just paste that guy in there. Control paste. All right, now it wants my phone number. Okay, I'm gonna give them my phone number. Call me if you want to. Probably won't answer. All right. All right, so just send a code to my phone. It's basically setting up the two-step verification. And this, this is it, right? Oh, three, two, eight, nine, six, four. Yay! Okay, so now we're gonna uh, we're gonna choose debit card here. You could use your bank account if you wanted to. All right, it's all well and good. It takes a little longer, I believe, to verify but uh, you get a higher limit, you know, so you could buy, I don't know, five grand if you wanted. Uh, I'm not, not advocating that. Um, I do this kind of as a hobby. I'm not like a full-fledged investor. I'm not giving you investor advice. I just squirrel away a little here and there, you know, 25, 50, whatever I can afford. I fully feel like it's money that I could lose. So, uh, you know, I'm not throwing all my eggs into this basket. I'm just playing around. You choose to uh, take this information however you like. So I'm gonna choose credit card. And is it gonna hide this? Uh, well, you know what? You can enter your credit card here. I'm going to enter it. I'll just move this guy. Can I move him? Yeah, I'm just gonna move him off the uh, so you can't see the credit card I'm entering. All right. Okay. And uh, if you're following along at home, you enter your own credit card number, right? All right. Enter the expiration. And the code, the back of the card. This is all standard stuff, right? Okay, and then I'm going to click continue and let it turn away. Okay, now I'll bring it back over here. So after you've entered all that, that good stuff in there, 
uh, it's going you want to confirm this right so it's gonna charge me some money here about three bucks a little steep but hey we're just doing this for fun guys 50 bucks 53 dollars and 12 cents uh, so we click this little green here and we'll let's see your purchase of ether will be added to your account make sure your wallet is in sync with the ethernum network okay so it is going to take a while to actually see the ethernum in your wallet it's going to have to do a full sync and then uh, once that happens you will see ether in here now, as you can see up here, uh, it's still sinking. We've got quite a ways to go. We're only at 1%. So don't panic. If you go through all this and you don't see your ether, uh, don't panic. It's going to come there eventually. It's going to show up in this main account um, after it does a full sync. And uh, that's the long and short of it, guys. Let's see here. All right. So uh, once again, uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope and wish you well for all of your cryptocurrency journeys. Uh, it's a wonderful new technology. It's kind of my hobby, and I like to throw a little money into Ether. It's a good investment in my mind. It could go up. It could go down. It's pretty volatile. But in the long run, I think the technology is here to stay. So once again, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my videos, give me a like. And if you want to be notified whenever I post a new video, I encourage you to subscribe. Thanks again.